Hi, hope that yesterday went well for you. Um, I'm going to take a moment and talk through how I worked through this painting you cubed and trying to figure out how many sides had um, different amounts of faces and things like that. Um, so to do that, um, I, I worked through it on pen and paper first, or pencil and paper, um, and then I organized my thoughts a little bit more. I'm going to try to to walk you through how I did it. Um, to start out, I really found the Rubik's Cube to be helpful. Um, even though it didn't ask for the 3x3, three three, it asked for the 4x4. Four four. Um, I thought the Rubik's Cube was helpful because I got to um, touch the different sides. Um, and so, how many sides had one face um, showing this side right here? This block has one face showing, this side has one face showing, this side has one. And so I got to touch one, two, three, and then four, five, six. And so there were six of them with one face showing. I can't stop touching my nose. I don't know why. Um, there were the two faces, one, two, showing, and those I painted in green here, highlighted in green. There were 12 of those. Essentially, I started thinking of it as this is one, two, three, four, and then there was another one, two, three, four, and then there was another one, two, three, four. And so I really, I really liked counting it that way. And so there were 12 of those. Um, I'll talk about why I wrote it one times 12 in a little bit. Um, the three faces, there were one, two, three showing here, one, two, three showing on all the corners of our cube. So one, two, three, four on the top here, and then one, two, three, four on the bottom, making eight total. So then from there, I drew my, oh, and then there was one little guy trapped inside. Um, one guy that if you peeled this apart, there'd be one on the inside. I'm not gonna tear it apart right now, but there'd be one on the inside. Um, then I did the four by four, which is sort of what the problem was asking. And then what I'm gonna talk about is what I did with expanding it and saying, what if it had n amount of sides. Um, and so when I did the four by four, I counted the same way. Let's count the blue corners here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and so interesting enough, it had eight, no matter how many sides it had. And so if I made it um, even bigger, I had just as many. Um, the yellow one-sided shapes here, they're sort of in the middle of our, our cubes. And so there were four here, four here, four here, four here. And so I started noticing, I wrote it four times six. The reason I wrote four times six is because there are one, two, three, four, five, six faces. Um, I highlighted the face here in yellow. Um, there are six faces to a, a cube. And then green, I counted it sort of in the same way. There were one, two, three, four sets of two. So there's eight on this front face. And in the middle section, there's another two, four, six, eight. And then on the back side, there's another two, four, six, eight. And so really it's eight times three. Um, but I'll show you again why I wrote it as two times 12, but I still got 24 either way. Um, and then, so that's really how I thought about it. Inside, there's a trapped um, two by two by two cube. So there were eight of them trapped inside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, and so now I want to talk about, that was the four by four by four, but to sort of extend it and say, what if it had N amount of sides? I wanted to start looking at patterns and saying, okay, what happens if I went to five to five to five or six to six to six? And once I went to five sides, the dimensions being five, I really saw what was happening. Um, and so for the yellow, I saw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine here, a three by three square. There were nine squares um, with one face showing. Um, again, there's six faces of a cube. So if I do nine times six, I get a total of 36. And so the idea was whatever the area of this is going to be, that's going to help me find how many yellow faces there are, how many of them are showing with one face. And so what I said was, well, if this is five by five, I'm getting the three by three um, because it's two less than. 
And so I said, well, whatever our number is, five minus two will give me three. And so my nine here came from doing three times three. And so I'm gonna do n minus two and n minus two, n representing how long and deep and wide it is. And so if I do, here I did three times three, here I'm gonna just do n minus two times n minus two, and then I multiply it by six because that's, remember the amount of faces we have. And so this is my expression I came up with, and then I rewrote it as six times n minus two squared. Um, for the green amount, that's the one with two faces showing, I thought it was helpful to think through the edges. And it wasn't until I, I went to the five by five by five that I started relating it to the edges, just visually. And so there are 12 edges on a cube. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Um, and so that's why I went back and started thinking through all of these 12s. There are one block times however many edges there are. Here there are two blocks times however many edges there are. And in this one, there were three blocks times however many edges there were. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then the back, nine, 10, 11, 12. And so then I ended up doing 12 times that same n minus two to figure out how many we had. Finally, the eight was the easiest one to do because no matter the size of it, there were always eight corners of our cube four on top, four on the bottom. And so those are what we call vertices um, in 3D shapes. Vertex for one, vertices for multiple of them. Um, and so that leads us through all of my expressions there. And then the last one, the inside trapped. Um, for this one, I noticed that this was a one by one by one. This was a two by two by two. This was a three by three by three. And so that just keeps increasing um, with each one. And again, if we relate it to the sides, we started with the Rubik's cube threes, subtracted two from each of the dimensions. And so the trapped inside, this guy gets cut off, this guy gets cut off, and it's just the middle layer on each set. So if I subtract three minus two, three minus two, three minus two, I get this. Four minus two, four minus two, four minus two. So that same n minus two is showing up. Um, and so then my final expression is this n minus two times n minus two times n minus two. And so you'll notice that my 27 that were trapped on the inside came from doing three times three times three. There are 27 cubes in there. I don't know if you guys made it with Legos or whatnot, um, but that's sort of how I thought through the problem. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and. We'll catch you later with the new problem.